Hey, you've landed on Bella's Bargains, and my name is Amy. Since moving to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, I've turned my channel into a trash to treasure extravaganza. I also do hauls from my local 22 peso store. If that's something you think you'd like, stick around. I'd love to entertain you. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The sunny sun's calling my name. I hear it now, I just can't stay inside all day. I gotta get out, get me some of those rays. Everybody's singing, sunshine day. Everybody's happy, sunshine day. I don't remember all, all of the words. Doesn't matter. Okay, hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. <laughs> That's one of those songs that, like, that literally, I've sung it probably half a dozen times on my channel. It's just one of those songs that's like in my brain and whenever it's like a really beautiful day outside, I just like, it's kind of like raindrops keep falling on your head, right? Every time it rains, you go, the raindrops keep, or is it just me? Maybe that could, could definitely just be me. But I live my life by songs and everything reminds me of a song. So anyway, today's an absolutely incredible day here in Cabo San Lucas. So I was singing that. I was singing it to the dog earlier. I think we had we did, we went for a walk. I think I'll go for a walk outside now. Anyway, so Ferdinand. No, you can't, I know, but you can't go for a walk outside because you have no legs. Okay, today I bring you a 22 peso store. So for those of you who don't know, Marks and I moved to Cabo San Lucas back in August and they don't have Dollar Trees. Ah, oh my gosh, I was so upset. But then I found a 22 peso store. Very similar to a Dollar Tree, not as big, not as much stuff, and it's affiliated of Walmart, but it doesn't matter. I found it, so I go to it. So today is a 22 peso store haul, but I don't know where the receipt is. It wasn't in the bag, which it's always in the bag, but it wasn't in the bag this time. But I mean, I've had, usually I spend about 30 bucks. So I'm gonna dive in and show you what I got at my 22 peso store. Currently, 22 pesos is like a buck 19, FYI. All right, so I'm gonna start in the kitchen. This is a rebuy. I've already bought one of these. I have one up in my cupboard for, um, for my rice. So one of the things about living in an area like this is a tropical area, and they literally say on their packaging to, you know, put in a closed container after opening. So like my rice is up in a closed container. I think there's just more, um, probably more bugs or stuff in in tropical areas which is why I got the dengue, the dengue virus. Apparently I got that from last week from a mosquito bite. Anyway, um, but I'm better now. So, so I bought this to put something else in and now, right now, I can't remember what it was. I think it's my beans or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's for the cupboard to put more stuff in. But I love this because it has, like you can sit it like this or you can sit it like this. And then even on the sides, it's flat. So you can line them up. Like these would be perfect for like a cookie um, a candy like display or something like that. But anyway, I'm gonna use them for storage in my cupboard. Okay, and then I found this and I think it's so cute. Now I'm gonna show you a jar that I already purchased. So I purchased this like pretty early on. It says coffee in English. I love the copper tops on this. And then I found this one and I was like, oh wait, it matches. Like I could do a whole copper thing with this stuff. But this was 22 pesos. Check this out, you guys. We're forever us Dollar Tree crafters. We're always putting something on the top of our lids to be like a little knob. And this one comes with it. Like I love this. And it says um, homemade. Now, I think, I'm not sure. I needed a couple of containers. So one of the things that I need a container for was for coffee because I got a great big thing of ground coffee from Costco and I want to put smaller amounts into something else so I'm not like opening that great big thing up and, and it's up in the cup, whatever. Okay, so I bought, so I needed one for that and then I needed one for my Stevia and there was something else. Anyway, and so I thought this would be really cute actually to put coffee in and have on the counter just to, for making my coffee, you know, grounds. So possibly for that, but I love this. Like it says homemade and two of the sides have like, it looks like grapes and banana and apples or something. And then the other side, I have no idea what it is. Anybody? It's like, a, 
I don't know. Can you, are you guys getting a bit, see that right there? Is it supposed to be like a flower? At first it looks like a makeup brush, kidney, skeleton, but I don't know. Anyway, but it says homemade in English. So it's super cute. This would be a super cute one to milk um, wash, you know, and then scrape back the design on it. It's just really adorable for 22 pesos. And it matches, Ooh, this one's dusty. My top on this is dusty, oopsie. This is what I put my peso change in. Okay, so anyway, I thought that was absolutely adorable. Then I found this one. <laughs> I was like, wait, I like this one too. And this one has like a little label on it, so you don't even have to put the, the you know, the sticker on it. And it's very pear-shaped or apple-shaped, I would say. Um, I, I don't know what I'm using it for. To, I have a list, so on my list, it will tell me what I bought all these for. Mm -hmm. So I'll remember after I'm done making this video, because that's how this goes. But again, for um, 22 pesos, I thought this was super, super cute. Oh, this is my coffee one. Then I found this. And I was like, oh, that's what I'll get for coffee. Because it says it's coffee time. But look, what a cute match, right? Like, look at that. This would be so cute to do a whole kitchen, like, with this sort of copper. And this matches it. It'd just be, they would look good in this kitchen, too. I'm not, not redecorating anything because we're not staying, right? I'm not going to be able to take it all back with me. But anyway, I thought this was super cute. So I'm actually going to put my coffee grounds in this one. This one, I can remember now what I bought this one for. All right, so I got four containers. I know what one is for. I don't know what the other four. Okay, so um, then I picked up this little number. So they have like these, um, what's the word I want? They have, like there's the whole butterfly collection. So this is like the butterfly collection and there's just all kinds of stuff in the butterfly collection. But this is, um, an avocado tool, which I need. I'm not gonna be able to open it up. But anyway, there's like a knife and then the, you know, to go through. We eat avocado every day, every day, every day. Sometimes more than once a day, which avocado is so good for you. So I was like, okay, I'm willing to give this try for 22 pesos. And then I found this and I'm like, I'm also willing to give this a try. So. I make Marcus his lunch every day, and I, Jax and I walk it down to him. And they only had this in like pink and some other color, so I grabbed the pink one. But um, it's like a little lunch container with a nice little lid on it. And I was like, oh, that's perfect, because I could put like salad and then his, you know, main course over here or something like that. So I'm gonna give this a try. If this works, I will buy a few more. Right now, I'm using these disposable things that I bought online to take him as lunch, and they're really kind of flimsy, and they're they're plastic, so, I mean, this is plastic too, but I mean, they're like disposable plastic. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna give this a try. Okay, and then the last thing I got in the kitchen area was this, and I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it is. So we're gonna open it. This is why I bought it, look at this. So they have, one of their collections there is called Pretty Cow, which I just like love because, yeah, you're a pretty bull, I know. <laughs> they have Pretty Cow. And I think it's so cute. So I just like, look at this cute little miniature. It makes me want to do a tear tray, like to die for. I want to do a tear tray. I'm not going to because I just don't, yeah. Like, who am I decorating for? Me and Marcus, that's it. Like, well, I suppose Jax too, but anyway, I'm not gonna do it. But I want to open this up because it says, it says set de notas. So I think there's little notepads in here. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just gonna buy it for myself. I said I was gonna buy one pretty cow thing a week. I actually bought three this week, but that's okay. This is one of them. Oh yeah, there's like no, but I don't wanna open the top. I definitely don't wanna open the top because it's so dang cute. Like how cute would it be to do a Christmas tree in a kitchen? and have these little miniature milk cartons. It is, there's little notepads in here. Oh, look! They're little, they're little Cabo Cow on the notepads. Okay, but I bought it <laughs> for the little milk container. Why? I don't know. You guys should really talk to me about my addictions and like maybe we should do a little intervention. But come on, it's like so cute. It's little tiny cow. Um, does it make you think of school lunches? Yeah, I had to. 
Okay, and then I got some little note cards with it. All right, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so that was my little happy cow thing that I had to buy. It would be the cutest though to make ornaments, right? On a tree with these? Okay, next. Um, I picked up some pens. These are metallic pens and I want them for um, crafting, obviously. So there's a gold, a silver, and a bronze in here. So I'm gonna try those, throw them in my craft supplies. I don't know if they're any good yet or not. Then I also found some zip ties and I definitely need these for some crafting supply stuff. So I grabbed some of those for crafting supply. And then I found these. So I'm having a heyday with things that I'm using as craft supplies. You know, they're not really, they don't have a craft supply section but I keep finding things. I'm like, ah, but look at you guys, this is a placemat, but look, check out how farmhouse, look at that, like how farmhouse is that? I can totally see using this in the background of a sign or something. I don't need to be buying this stuff because I'm making stuff from trash, but I was like, if I found some wood and I made a cool frame and I could put this in the background and then take some of my trash and make something to put on the front of it, it's kind of where I went. So I did grab this one and this one, which is sort of this darker weave. Anyway, I thought it was cool. And then I grabbed one more of their like bamboo placemats, but this bamboo one is darker. So I was like, ooh, I like the darker. So I grabbed that. Okay, let's go to household goods, right? Um, they've never had these there before and I'm always needing clothespins here. So imagine that you moved and you didn't have any hangers, you had to go buy hangers. So then you didn't have any hangers that had the clippy things for hanging up, you know, like your shorts or his shorts for work or whatever. So you had to get clothespins and clothespins were like $10 for a package at Home Depot. Anyway, so when I found this for 22 pesos, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna grab those. So just some clothespins that, but I also was like, look at the colors you guys, this, I could make such a cool, Christmas thing with the green and the red in there. Okay, not what I'm gonna do with it, but I thought I would show you that. Um, and then I grabbed another one of their hangers that they don't have the one that I actually want, which has, the, oh my gosh, it's broken too. Oh well, I'll super glue that. I probably did it in the bag. Um, the one that has little hangers that I put my tank tops on, but I think this will work for tank tops as well. Just put, you know, just go opposing sides down. Anyway, so that's what I got that for. Okay, and then these are Happy Cow clothespins. So I got two clothespins this week, but you guys, these are so cute. And they have a, one of the cow things fell off. It's in the package back here, but and they have little cow heads on there. I don't even care about the cow heads, really. I was just looking at the cute little pink clothespins, and I was like, those are so cute. Are they magnetic? I don't think they are. Hmm. I'll find out though really quickly. I don't think they're magnetic, but I just thought they were super cute. And remember I was buying one, no, they're not. They're not, but I was buying one happy cow thing a week and I was like, I just think these are so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna, again though, if I had a little Christmas tree for the kitchen, I could make the cutest happy cow Christmas tree. That would just be, you want one? Yeah, I don't think dad's gonna let that happen. Like, he's like, we're not getting Christmas trees because we can't keep them. And I'm like, I know, honey, I know. So I'm gonna make one out of cardboard, but that's a different story. All right, and then one last happy cow. Look, I got three happy cow things to see. But come on, I had to. It's a stamp. It's a paper stamp that does cows. What? I know. I was like, I need it. I don't know what for. But I did decide I needed it. Like, I need, I need. Don't you just need things sometimes? See, and it just punches out little cow heads. I know, right? Mm, I don't know. I could make you a necklace with them. Okay, but that's not a bad idea. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so anyway, I had to get that. All right, let's get to the rest of this. We're almost done. So I have, next week, you're only, probably only gonna get one video from me next week, if you even get one next week, because I have friends coming to visit. So, um, I was, ha my two friends, Kay and Karen, my widow friends were coming and Karen's two sisters were coming and then Kay has some health issues. So just if we could all say a prayer for Kay, I would appreciate that. I love her to death. And so she's not able to come, but Karen and her two sisters are coming, Mary and Janice. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. And so I was making them little gift baskets, which I've done in, in a couple of the other, you know, I bought stuff. So I bought these. 
I only need, I'll keep one now because I only need three. But what are they? So these are ocean mists since they're coming to Cabo. We're on the ocean. And it's a little sachet thing. So I bought them so that they can put them in their suitcase on the way home so that all of their stuff will smell nice and oceany when they get home. So this will go in their little gift basket that they are getting when they get here. Okay. So now let's move along. I picked something up for Jack. I was like, oh, well, let's try these. So these are Figaro de Carnanza, which is beef. So I think they're beef cookies, treats or something, but this one looks like it's got um, granola in it. It doesn't matter. I just got, I can't read all that on there. I could if I really like, but I'm not going to right now. So anyway, um, yeah. So I thought I would try these little treats for Jax. Jax is so smart. Have I told you guys how smart he is? So we've taught him sign language. So this is sit, this is lay down, this is dance, and then this is shake. And he does them all. It's so cute. So anyway, he's so smart. Now we're, we're naming all of his toys. So we'll say, go get your girlfriend, which is a stuffed doggy. And we'll say, go get the ducky, go get cow, which is another one. Yeah, it's, it, he's so smart. So, okay, let's finish up. So I grabbed this and then I totally forgot I bought it because I was gonna make a gingerbread out of it. And now I'm probably not, but I thought it would be really cute to paint it like a gingerbread house. Maybe I will still. I just thought it'd be really cute to make a castle gingerbread thing. And um, anyway, but yeah, so I'm not sure. It's there, I have it, I might do it. Oh, but I couldn't find a, um, I was looking for a white paint pen or something and I couldn't find anything like that. Okay, and then I grabbed these, but these are earrings. Okay, so there's like pearls and faux diamond ones, but I bought them because I thought they would be so cool on a tree as ornaments, like a fake tree as ornaments. Now, whether I use them for that, I may not. I'm also going to be doing more jar and bottle decorating because up above these cabinets here, there's an alcove, I'm saving all of the bottles, and I'm gonna be doing this whole, you know, actually that's some of what this was for, right? And so I'm gonna be doing this whole thing where I'm decorating those those bottles, probably in the spring. I have like so many, but this is good. So anyway, it's, it's gonna be really cool. So this is also something that could be used for that, just a decorative thing, you know, on the tie of the bottle or something like that. But I just thought, gosh, for 22 pesos, that's an awful lot of little intricate um, decorating stuff. So I grabbed that. All right, and then I have a few Christmas things. So let me just share with you my Christmas things that I got. The first one here is, it's um, it's a thing of stickers is what it says, okay? So there's this, that's like their Christmas logo thing. But inside, it's like stickers that are to from, okay? And um, I just thought like it would be fun to have some of these things. I don't know if we're gonna do gift exchange or anything, but if we don't, I'll do little things for Marcus on Christmas or, you know, like like little, I don't know, um, just maybe a little stocking kind of stuff as a little surprise. So I needed a couple little tags and I just had to. Like how can I not buy something that was, you know, Christmas Eve? Plus, I can take um, cardboard and make cute little ornaments by putting the stickers on there and um, cut out and doing so on and so forth. Okay, then I grabbed some jingle bells. Yeah, so um, I forgot that I bought these and I needed them for the last day of the 12 days of Christmas, but I used the ornament that anyway, it doesn't matter. So I have some jingle bells, I'll use them on something and I may make another Christmas wreath out of trash but it'd be really nice to have some jingle bells to add to that. And then I did buy another thing of ribbon. I used up the one thing of Christmas rhythm, ribbon that I had from before, and I used this and cut the Christmas trees out for my thrifted item, but this is what it looks like. They literally only had three Christmas ribbons. So this design, the last one that before this one that I got, but I can't remember what the design was on that one. It was just sparkly snowflakes, that's right, I used it. Um, and so I grabbed another thing of ribbon and then I found this little guy and I was like, that is so cute. So it's metal, right? Is that not cute? So I have some more of those foam things that I made a wreath with before. And so I was like, well, 
I don't know. Or it'll just be, you know, I've made a few Christmas trees, so maybe this should be another Christmas tree. But I am, I'm going to attempt, I believe tomorrow, to make my cardboard Christmas tree, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Anyway, so, but I just thought this one was so cute. It's metal, it's just super cute. It's got a little farmhouse bow on it. Anyway. Oh, I could just add some ornaments onto it. It'd be super cute. Okay, didn't know sure. But this is the favorite thing. My favorite thing I found this fall. It's just like, it's so cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, they have them here. I only bought one because I'm only going to use one. I'm going to find something to make with this. But it is a, it's a solar light. But check this out. <gasps> what? Look at that color. It's like this turquoise-ish teal color. I don't know. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, no, I need this. Hold on. So it's just like, you know, it's just like they all do, right? You got your, your stick and your thing and then blah, blah, blah. But can we get, I wonder if it works. Let's see if, hey, it works. Yay. We can take all this paper out of the end. I don't know why there's so much paper in there, but I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so going to see it's working. Like I want to make something with this. I don't know what yet, but I have all those jars. Maybe I'll make something Christmassy with one of the jars and this can go inside of it and it'll be one of my solar things with all of my recycled jars. Okay, but this is my favorite thing I found. And are you not proud? I got one, 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 not seven, not even three, one. Okay. You gotta remember, I can't do anything with this. When I leave, it, I don't know, it, our little security guard, Victoria at the front, I was thinking about loading up all my Christmas stuff and giving it to her before Christmas even hits so that she could use it at home. And maybe you want to keep it. I don't know. So I just don't know what to do with it. Okay, but that's it. That was my haul, you guys. So what was your favorite thing? Let me know in the comments down below. M maybe, maybe. I'm just like, I was so happy to find a solar light. Okay, so everybody. Um, again, I'm not sure you're going to see me next week. Um, but I do have, at this point, I don't, I have a video with a couple of redo of a, a t-shirt uh, do-over and a sweatshirt makeover, which are kind of cool. Um, and so I'm going to do a video of that. So hopefully that'll be out tomorrow, but I'm not sure about next weekend. Okay, everybody have a great day, a great week, a great life. Thanks for Nan. Um, and as always from your singing crafty crafter, I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The sun is sun calling my name. I hear it now, I just can't stay inside all day. I gotta get out, get me some of those rays. Yeah, what's it from? Do you guys know? Brady Bunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. So, as I always say, I'll see you next time here on Bella's Bargain. Until then, happy bargain hunting. All right, see you next time. Say goodbye, besties. Thank you, Ferdinand. Toodles.